So recently, we've got a new report for all four iPhone 14 models from the normal to the iPhone 14 Pro Max of how much RAM we'll put inside with their performance revealed. I want to share all the details about this and give you the latest on the iPhone 14 release date and price with specs as well. So let's get started then. So back in early June time, we had WWDC and at this event, we saw the brand new iOS 16, what is now ready with its public betas out in full swing. iOS 16 gives us a brand new home screen with widgets and we also can now share our photos with iCloud. We also got the new M2 chipset with a brand new design MacBook Air. But now with the WWDC event out of the way, the next Apple event is going to be the Apple iPhone event and I'll talk about when this is happening a little bit later on in the video. However, as we're getting closer to the release date now, I'm splitting the reports and leaks for the iPhone 14 and the new iPhone 14 Max into one video and having the details about the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max into another. Today, I'm going to focus on the details for the iPhone 14 and that brand new iPhone 14 Max. But keep an eye out on my channel for details for the other iPhone 14 Pro models as I'll be making a video soon for these. So let's talk about the iPhone 14 RAM amounts. So we've just got a new report in from DigiTimes who has revealed the amount of RAM we'll be getting inside every single iPhone 14 model that comes out this year. For the iPhone 14, so the normal 6.1 inch model and the brand new iPhone 14 Max or the 14 Plus with that 6.7 inch display, these iPhones will be getting 6 gigabytes of RAM inside and this is an increase of 2 gigabytes of the 4 gigabytes that we had inside the likes of the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini. The type of RAM though inside these models will be LPDDR4X, what is the same type of RAM Apple have been using in the last couple of generations of iPhones. This RAM amount and type is the exact same as that what are in likes of the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max right now. However, for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, there isn't going to be an increase of an extra two gigabyte of RAM to eight gigabytes, but the RAM amount will still be six gigabytes. But don't let that disappoint you because the big difference is that this type of RAM will be the newer LP DDR5 RAM, what is far faster to access to read and write from, so gains will be seen here. So in short, what this means is the iPhone 14 and the 14 Max or Plus will be able to do far more multitasking and have more apps open at once than before, whereas the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max will be able to do the same amount of apps open at the same time, but will be able to quicker loading and accessing data from those apps. So next, release date and price, but now is a good time than more than ever to mention that all reports and leaks that you are seeing right here are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new iPhone. I can only present to you what reports or information that is out there. However, if you are watching this video, you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next generation iPhone anyway. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers and I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1. And if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air one, check out my other video on my channel where I announced who the winner is. But the great thing is guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel and it is for this. This is for a 14 inch MacBook Pro and this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the eight core one with a 14 core GPU and a 500 112 gigabyte hard drive inside and I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers and to enter into this international giveaway all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022 put it down in the comments below. And also guys, if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now, something else just want to quickly say, sadly still on YouTube, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, some of them even impersonating myself, telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well, ignore them 
or please do report them. It would really, really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on YouTube. Well, guys, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. So let's do the release date and prices next. So based on no chip shortages or components being hard to come by from now until the end of summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How do we know that the release date is going to be the end of September? Well, let me just do a quick history lesson of iPhone releases. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to two. 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st, 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019 we saw the release of the iPhone 10s on September 21st and the 10R on October 26th and last year for example with the iPhone 12 models the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now, mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different. The main exception was back in 2020 and that was with the iPhone 12 where actually the phone got released a little bit later in October time but mainly this was due to COVID. But fast forward to 2021 with the iPhone 13 and also the iPhone 13 Pro models it came out on September 24th which is back to the normal sort of time we get an iPhone. So for 2022 with the iPhone 14 we will get another event in September. However we'll see a another event for other Apple products like that MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch, AirPods and loads more other bits and pieces around that time and if you want more info about those products do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get the latest news on them. So next let's do a summary of everything we know so far including the prices for the iPhone 14 and the new iPhone 14 Max. So starting then with the normal iPhone 14, it will be a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2532 by 1170. Sadly, this phone will still have a 60 hertz refresh rate this year, but we will be getting six gigabytes of RAM inside, but we'll have the storage options of 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes storage options. Also, we've been told that we're actually going to be retaining the A15 Bionic chipset inside the iPhone 14 and that will be made up of 4 efficiency cores, 2 performance cores and a 4 core GPU as well. The main body of this brand new iPhone 14 will be an aluminium body just like before with previous generations. We'll also have a dual camera on the back what will be a wide and ultra wide camera lens and then the battery inside will be a 3095 milliamp battery well, it's the same size what we got inside the iPhone 13. The base model will be 128 gigabytes and that'll be starting at 799 US dollars. Moving on to the iPhone 14 Max and this is the brand new model this year replacing the iPhone minis and this will be coming in at a 6.78 inch display and it'll be an OLED display and its resolution will be 2778 by 1280 and again it will be a 60 hertz refresh panel. There'll be 6 gigabytes of RAM inside again the same storage as the normal iPhone 14 so 128 gigabytes all the way up to 512 gigabytes and again that A15 Bionic chipset will be inside this phone as well so that will be four efficiency cores, two performance cores and there will also be a four core GPU core inside. The actual body again will be made out of an aluminium body and again we'll be getting those dual cameras of a wide and ultra wide camera lenses and then the actual battery size will be a 4,352 milliamp battery size what is the same what's going to be inside the iPhone 4. 14 Pro Max but the base model of this one 128 gigabyte model will be starting at 899 US dollars for this brand new iPhone that Apple are introducing this year. 
So that is where we stand with the iPhone 14 models and as time goes on more features will be added to this list and then we will get a more complete picture. But if you want to get a more complete picture in the future and also get the latest details on leaks and reports on all the videos for the iPhone 14, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. But for now guys with this video, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you really soon. Take care.